Hello you guys, Martrius here with the new game 101 and today I have a great gameplay for you guys. It's on Hazard, Team Deathmatch, I'm using the Famous with the Red Dot, Heartline, Sight of Hand, and Ninja I believe. I actually ditched the Famous and like, I think when I get 3 or 4 kills with it I'd actually ditch it. So yeah, the aim in, in this game is pretty crappy I must say, but yeah. So um, the kill streaks I'm using our Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dugs, and I get all three in the game. And that's why basically I went 34 and 0 because of my Chopper Gunner and my Dugs. I think I get about 10 to 15 kills by using my gun, but yeah. So, um, what I'm going to talk about here in this video is about the Modern Warfare 3 um, kill streaks and perks and stuff like that. Well, what I think is a good idea, what I think they should add, or whatever. It's just my opinion. So if you guys don't, if you guys disagree, you know, you disagree. You won't like, it, you won't like it. I don't really care. It's just me. Um, yeah, okay. Um, talk about the kill streaks here. Uh, it says an uh, EMP grenade. They're um, bringing it in. I don't know why they're bringing an EMP grenade. I think it's the same thing as a flashbang, right? So what's new about that? I mean, I think that's. I mean, it could be a good idea if you can throw an EMP grenade. It takes out, wipe out all the um, electronics everywhere in the game. But uh, I guess that's kind of not a good idea. But anyway, uh, they add in a little bird in here. It's like a tad remote helicopter. I think that's a good idea. Just like the RC car was a good idea. When I can like, if a enemy, if I know enemies in the room, but I don't know how many, I can send an RC car in there to blow them up, or either see how many is in there. And then blow the RC car up or whatever, and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I heard they're not adding nuke men in this game, which I'm very disappointed at. It because the only reason I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 is just to get nukes, get nukes and uh, stuff like that. Is because nukes is, nuke is very helpful in uh, some ways, but a lot of people dislike it because you can easily. A lot of people camp and get it, but some people don't like me. I don't camp and get nukes. I actually run around and just get it myself. And uh, oh, another thing I wish they added in there is the um, when you call in kill streaks, whatever, do it overlay kill streaks. Not what's the word I'm looking for? You know, a kill streak over a kill streak. So I can't think about it right now. Like, say if I have a uh, two attack helicopters, I can call both of them in. I like that in my Warfare 2. It's because why would I want to like, like in Black Ops, or whatever. A lot of us get chopper gunners and stuff like that. I want to overdo it, you know. Like I want to get my points in before the game's over with, and I have to wait and don't get my points or either change something like if you get it you um, get the points for it, something like that you know what I'm saying that was kinda annoying in uh, Black Ops that's why I, that's the reason why I don't like um, playing with uh, teammates kinda because I know a lot of people if you play with the team well, your team do really good and like you can't call in all your kill streaks or whatever you know it's good to have in some ways it's good to have a bad team because they don't get high kill streaks and you can get your high kill streaks and call them all in and get the points and stuff like that blah 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 um here they add in the airdrop trap it's like a booby trap uh, care package of course uh, that's not really new because that's in call duty black ops or whatever using hacker but this one you can actually call them in that's not useful I don't think because like um, why would you want to work hard for a care package that only can get you one kill and it might not count um, against your kill streak or whatever you know not count as a kill for your next kill streak so I think that's a bad idea I mean, I mean luckily you probably will get like two three kills with it maybe uh, if you're lucky but yeah um, one more cool thing I saw in here I think it was uh, I, I don't know the name of it but like if you get two assists that counts as a kill I, I think that's a really good idea because you can just sit there and throw flashbangs or whatever and get two uh, assists and it ends up a kill you know that's real good and it goes towards your kill streaks too I heard in this uh as I'm reading the little uh, thing with your Modern Warfare th uh, 3 info I'll put that down below in the video so you guys can check it out or whatever um what else do I see pretty cool here um, what I think is uh, unuseful, whatever, is the de direct uh, UNV, UAV. That's a bad idea to use. Why would you want to try to control a UAV and put it in a certain place as you're running and gunning or whatever? I just want to call it in and it's showing me where everyone is. So they're just making it harder for you and a lot of distractions or whatever. But, um, yeah, guys, this has been Unique Gaming 101. Uh, I'll put the link below to where the website I'm reading the stuff from. 
You guys can go check it out, whatever. Uh, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Check out my other videos, and see you guys later. Peace. Our strength cannot be challenged. Good job.